Hello and welcome to a video walkthrough of LendingPad's new Uniform Residential Loan Application, ERLA 2021. In this video, we'll go over major changes to LendingPad's user interface screens. Let's begin in a loan file. You can view which ERLA version is being used for this particular loan file in the summary section. Now to upgrade to ERLA 2021, select Additional, then select Upgrade ERLA. Please note that once you switch a particular loan file to use ERLA 2021, you cannot switch it back to the older version. Now let's go over some changes in ERLA 2021. First, we'll navigate to the Borrowers screen under the Loan Application tab. Let's look at the Employment section. Each employment is associated with three tabs, General, Additional, and Income. You must now enter income information for each employment in the Income tab. If the borrower is self-employed, click here and go to the Income tab and enter self-employment income or loss. Finally, the Additional tab captures other employment-related information. Next, the Income section is now a read-only section and represents the total of all non-self-employment, self-employment, and non-employment incomes. For non-employment-related incomes, view the Non-Employment Incomes section. Next, note that the Military Services and Counseling sections are found under the Borrower tab. The Assets and Liabilities section has also undergone changes. Notably, there is now a new flag labeled Deposited under Gift Types. Moving on now to the REO section. This section has undergone minor changes. Note, for example, the dispositions, occupancy, and liabilities sections. Also, if the loan is a refinance, subject will always be checked off and it will always show as the first REO. If it's a rental, you can define and calculate your own net rental income. Next, let's move on to the Declarations section. This screen has changed. Some questions have been added and some older questions have been rearranged. Now we can go to the Company Settings section. Note that in the Manage Company Settings section, you can switch your entire company over to ERLA 2021. Note, however, that you cannot switch this back once you have made the switch to ERLA 2021. Therefore, we recommend that you allow enough training time and test cases for your team prior to doing so, and that you choose this option closer to the March 1st, 2021 switchover deadline. Thank you for viewing this video walkthrough of LendingPad's new ERLA 2021 interface. We hope that you have found it informative, and we thank you, as always, for being a valued LendingPad user.